Hey everybody, this is Count Chocula. Well, I'm back, and I have started to dig out a little bit of a hole here. Um, it is nighttime now, and as you can see by my pan, uh, there's some skeletons and some zombies hanging about, and I was already killed once by a group of spiders, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and dig into this rock side. A little ways get myself some stone and the next thing I'm gonna do is create a stone sword and stone pickaxe and possibly a stone axe I already got a stone axe so I don't need to worry too much about that okay okay I'm gonna make four total so one two one two three four and one two okay so those are the ingredients for stone pickaxe and Shovels. But I don't want a stone shovel, do I? I want a stone sword. I'm gonna make a couple stone swords. Okay. So I am ready to defend myself in case I'm attacked. And I'm gonna dig deeper into my cave so that I can block myself in for the Goodness knows I don't want to be killed by anything again. Doors? I got plenty of sticks here, so I'll be able to uh, make fences for my chicken and pig farm. I think I saw some sheep too, so I might be able to make a sheep farm. Torches back out, and I will light this baby up. And it looks like daytime's coming anyway, so I'm going to uh, raid the area and get myself some skeleton and zombie. my chests. And my crafting bench. Oops. All right, these are all going inside my new home. I will have to Chests along this wall here. And the nice thing about these chests are, yeah, they're single wide, but if you put one next to another, they turn into double chests. It's handy for when you're opening the chest, you don't have to keep opening all the different chests. Okay, you can't put two chests right next to each other, and if you have anything over the top, you can't open them. So I'm going to put my crafting bench down in the middle, and I'm going to dig out another couple little crevices here, because I am going to... Charcoal for 
because I can use that to make torches until I find some coal that I can mine. And I can also use those furnaces to cook food, like uh, chickens and steaks. So I'm going to come down here on the beach and see what these skeletons dropped. Because when the daylight... Oh, hey, look. A bone. And looks like some arrows. So when the sunlight comes out, the skeletons die, they get burned alive, well not really alive, I guess, uh, but they burn up, and the zombies do too, so let's check the area, I should get my sword out, huh, just in case there's some spiders lurking about. Yeah, I was coming over this hill over here, just looking for wood so that I could start up my area, and I got ambushed by three spiders. I do not know why the three spiders all spawned in one location, but they did. Eggs. Use those for my chicken farm. There's a small chance when you throw an egg that a chicken will pop out. Uh, where were those zombies? You also gotta watch out for creepers, too. Because those guys will sneak up on you they go fizz bang. Okay, I'm not seeing any more uh, drops from mobs. Oh my. Such a big mountain. I want to go up there eventually and check out that cliff and see what we can see from there. But let's go back to our home. To build it. Okay. So here's the home. And I'm going to come in here. And I am going to take my sticks. And as you can see, when you take six sticks, it creates two fences. So I am going to try to many fences as I can. Well, not as many as I can. I don't need that many. Just enough to make a small little farm to house those chickens that I'm going to try and raise. Because chickens are good meat. Chickens are good meat. And the pig farm, uh, th those pigs are just a bit too far away to really try to I'm not worried about speed. I just want to get a nice flat air. I just want to get a nice flat air. Sure, there's something else to a chicken farm than just having a flat area and some fence posts, but at this time, I do not really know what that is. And I'm not about to go and start researching at the moment, so let's get this going. This is the start. seeds in hand, I can lure the chickens into the chicken farm. Of course, 
thing that I don't know is how to make a fence post, or a, uh, a gate. So let's see if we can figure this out at our crafting table. Now I can get in and out without having to make a big fuss. And my chicken escaped. That little bastard. I'm going to attempt to make a chicken farm, and I will see you guys after a while.